Why are you running? Well, I saw a need. Um, seeing what has been going on in the county, obviously you've been covering this, and uh, the turmoil and what has been said, what has been done, and the results. I've liked a lot of the results that are going on with a certain group. So therefore, uh, knowing that people are gonna be running that might not align with that success, I wanted to jump in and help with that success. All right, uh, tell me a little bit about your priorities. Priorities are uh, to get uh, more functionality. Uh, I wanna be, uh, they've been very transparent. I wanna be as transparent or more. Uh, I'd like to get, uh, especially with the Sheriff's Department, um, what they're doing with the uh, body cams and stuff, really get their, get their, uh, their people supported, um, get their needs met. We've got the Parks Department that has been awesome. Uh, we'd like to keep that going and also some financial responsibility with anything that is not helping the county and community and that's a cost. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Like personally, like, uh, like do you, places you like to hang out with, hang out at, or restaurants you like to go to? The gym. <laughs> so, uh, just despite the little extra, I do love the gym. Uh, pretty much gym, church, uh, family things, uh, going to the baseball uh, games with my son. Uh, the last five, six summers, I've been with my daughter, travel across. So usually, I wouldn't be here from Friday to Sunday. I'd be on a field in Indiana, Chicago, somewhere, cheering her on, cheering her team on. So that that is pretty much life and outdoors. Any time I can get outdoors, that's that's my joys. Perfect. Um, I'm trying to remember, I had another question for you. Why should people vote for you? Well, I think I'm going to be a different candidate than most people have ever seen. Um, I like to listen to both sides. I like to hear truth, honesty. I like to hear what people have to say, even if we have opposing views. Uh, even as a Christian, I would love to hear the views of an atheist. Um, I want to have them all have a voice and be the voice for them. So I don't want them to say, I'm on this team or that team. I want to be their team and do the best job I can for them. Uh, tell me a little bit about, I think you pretty much already kind of answered this question in a previous answer. Uh, your thoughts over the past year and a half to two years. Uh, I, what uh, uh, like Joe Moss and, and uh, Sylvia Rohde have done um, with pushing forward agendas that didn't get the attention I believe they needed and seeing now the body cams go on and seeing departments being held accountable for fiscal responsibility. I love seeing that because it's stirring the pot and it's making people be aware of what's going on in our county um, and getting people like me that are willing to step up and try to help. Uh, to kind of like follow up with uh, some of the answers that you kind of gave before, you like the results. Um, ex explain some results that you've kind of liked over the past. So with the Constitutional County, that's one big thing they passed, um, keeping the people's rights, self-governance, not good governance, self-governance. And that's what our Constitution is based on, is us being able to govern ourselves without government overreach. Obviously, we have to have people in power and play to keep things moving and the parks and all that kind of stuff, but we don't want to have overreach where people's rights are trampled on. You talk about transparency with body cams. Is there anything else in transparency you're trying to refer to as well? For the police department? Yeah, I wasn't sure if there's any other things that you were looking for more transparency in other than the police department. Uh, so, far, so far they've been, they've been really good at, at uh, in their meetings explaining what they're doing and how they're doing it. Um, just watching them pass like the resolutions, uh, like they just did the, the special needs re resolution for autistic awareness, which is amazing having so many friends with children of extra needs. And seeing them have that empathy towards a segment of society that is, is it's difficult for families and they're actually looking after them and not just pushing them to the wayside and saying, let's do a flyer, we wanna have real awareness and agendas to show that. Um, you were explaining that you kind of want to hear from both sides. So how do you plan on being able to, like, how do you plan on uh, allowing, not allowing, how do you plan on more or less uh, being able to be available to hear both sides? I would like to actually be really a part of the community, go to these community centers and have sort of an open house um, and a polite open house. Have people ask good questions and have good quality dialogue without the, the mud throwing and the name calling. I want them to actually say, hey, Jason, here's what's going on. Here's something I don't like, or here's something I really like that I think could be an asset 
and seeing if it's something we can put into play as a commission group. Obviously, the county commissioners are going to set that, that precedent of, hey, we have people with really good ideas that might, might not make it past a township board or something like that, that we could implement as a countywide program. So like if there's any other than obviously going out to um, these like town hall kind of discussion group, like any way people could get a hold of you, email? Oh yeah, uh, email, phone call, text. Uh, I would rather them directly get a hold of me and say, hey, can we meet for coffee? Can we talk about this? And absolutely, I want to hear from them. If, if someone doesn't feel like they have a voice, then you're not doing them right. And if I give everyone a voice, and I might disagree with them, but I'd rather at least let them have their voice to even be disagreed upon. Okay. You described uh, teams a minute ago. Obviously, you're running as an OI Iowa Impact Correct. candidate. So yeah. what, what made you feel like that was the um, uh, place you wanted to be in part? Again, seeing what they were doing and what they align with, uh, protecting the, tr the freedoms and what they're doing with. Right now, we have people coming in that aren't safe and working with the sheriff's department to mitigate that and working with groups to help stop things that shouldn't be happening in our county, they are also aligned with almost every value I have constitutionally. So when, when you couple that together, it's hard not to be on their team, but I don't want to be pitted as just a team. Again, I want to have that open dialogue availability for anyone. Um. Is there anything, I think I've had everything I can think of at this moment, is there anything else you'd like to add in, maybe that you'd like the community to know more about you or that you'd like to get out there? Oh, just, uh, if you guys have a problem, if you guys have an issue, that is something that I want to hear. I want to solve problems, not just make more issues.